Hello everyone, my name is Feed Alligators and welcome to another video and today we will be talking about the three best training spots in Firebase Z which is the somewhat new map that came out with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Season 2 well, technically not Season 2 but D it is DLC 1 of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War it's a really good map um, there's a couple of spots that people don't train that I think are really good training spots so we will get into that but before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War content and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies content. I'm going to be putting out a lot more content um, sooner or later. I have a ton of new video ideas because I finally got Cold War and my Xbox working so I can finally play the new maps, um, use new guns and stuff like that. I'm going to be starting to make new class setup videos with like the best class setup videos for zombies, guns, and also for multiplayer. Now, like I just said, Firebase Z is a very good map, but there's a couple of spots people don't use for training that I think are really good areas. So we will be going over the top three best training spots in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And starting off with number three on our list, this is going to be the starting room. Now, keep in mind, the starting room is only good if you're training by yourself, if you're playing solo, or if everyone else is at the firebase. But I think it's highly underrated because if you circle around that tree right in the middle, it is very easy to get around and also to to get a huge horde going and then just gun them down. Um, it's very underrated. I don't see a lot of people using it. Whenever I train there, I'm normally the only one there. And on the plus side, unlike Firebase, the zombies that spawn there, no one else is going to kill them, so they all come for you. So you can rack up a ton of money doing this. Um, survivability wise, it's a little bit challenging because the ammo crates are a little bit weird in that area, so it, you can easily get cornered there, but on the plus side there is a, not a crafting table, but there's an armory where you can upgrade your armor and also your weapon decently close by, and not to mention the pop machine, which, you know, it gives you all, it has all the perks that you can buy from it, so after you get a ton of money, you can go over there at the end of the round and just buy it. So personally, I think it's highly underrated, and that is the number three spot. Now coming in at number two are the is the generator locations, and really all of them, considering they're all the same, um, I think these are very underrated spots, considering they have a little bit of room, they can get a little bit hectic if there's a ton of zombies, but if you're playing four people and all of you are at the firebase, you shouldn't get a ton of zombies. So it could be a very good training spot, and you can just go around, and, you know, it's... It's just a decent, good, a decently good spot. Um, it's a little bit on the smaller side, like I said, so you can get a little bit crowded. But as long as you know how to round, you'll be completely fine. Especially because if you don't round in that little area, you can just go up the stairs for one of the generators or just around the building that houses the generator. Um, so that's also good. Another thing that's really good about Cold War is the mantling. You can just jump over stuff. So if you do get crowded, you can jump over certain objects to get out of there. And then you can just sprint away if you really want to. Do I think the spot's underrated? Yes. But do I think it's the best thing? No. I don't think it's better than the uh, starting room. But I think it places number two on my list because it's underrated and no one ever uses them. So that's why it's here. And finally, the last spot, the best spot to train in Firebase Z has to be getting right out of the teleporter in the Firebase. That big open area where the helicopter is. It's It just can't be beat. It's massively open. There's a ton of room to walk around. There's a ton of stuff you can hop on top of. Like there's different... um like boxes you can jump on top of temporarily the zombies will climb up there and what i like to do is if i know i'm going to get cornered or there's a ton of them i'll jump up there wait for them to start coming up jump back down and then sprint away and i also use this as a technique if i want to buy something and don't want to get cornered i'll do that so that i distract them run get ammo or get a perk or upgrade my gun or something like that and then run back to that to that training spot it's also really nice because if you do happen to get overwhelmed somehow in that spot, you can go to all the other spots in the map because they all connect to that. And, yeah, it, it just can't be beat. It's honestly super good. Um, it's essentially the same as the starting room in D-Machine where it's nice and open. There's a ton of space. And the good thing about the this spot in Firebase is there's kind of two separate parts of it. So it actually is really seamless when you are training with two people in different spots of that area because then you normally don't cross paths and if you do you can easily get out of it because there's a lot of room 
And with that, we will conclude the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment anything down below, such as what you thought of this video or future video ideas. And as always, I will see you all next time.